Hello everyone! In this video we will present a simple exponential smoothing forecasting method. This method is uh, slightly better than the moving average method that we presented in the previous video and also it's slightly better than the naive forecast. Remember that the naive forecast simply projects the latest available observation into the future. So, what's the idea with the simple uh, exponential forecast? The formula is this. The idea is that the model will learn a bit from the most recent demand observation and uh, it will remember a bit of the last forecast it did. Okay, so the forecast Ft is alpha, this learning parameter, alpha multiplied by the demand t minus 1 Okay. plus 1 minus alpha multiplied by the previous forecast. Okay. So he, here we have the formula. Okay. It's the last demand multiplied by alpha plus the last forecast multiplied by 1 minus alpha. So the magic about this formula is that the last forecast made by the model was already including a part of the previous demand observation and the part of the previous forecast. This means that the pre previous forecast includes everything the model learned so, so far based on demand history. Why is it called exponential smoothing? Because the weight put on the last demand is bigger than the older ones. Okay? Here, if we expand the formula, if we replace the forecast of t minus 1 with its formula, we arrive at this formula and we see that the t forecast is having putting a weight on the d t minus 1. Okay? So, the last demand has a weight of alpha and the t minus 2 demand has a lower weight is alpha multiplied by 1 minus alpha and so on okay so each older demand is having a less and less weight that's why it is called exponential smoothing so here we have the model, uh, the initialization, we have to initialize. Here there's not a clear rule. We can start with the demand, the same demand. Or we can uh, start with an average, with an average of the first few demands. The idea is that we do not want to make an average too far into the future because this will lead to data leakage. Okay, what was data leakage in the case of the forecast model? It describes a situation where a model is given pieces of information about future demand and this leads to overfitting. Okay, so having this formula uh, we, have, uh, we have the same data is in the weighted averages model okay and let's see if the exponential smoothing is uh, better in prediction than the weighted moving average um, we have to put various levels of alpha to see how the forecast changes but the most efficient way is to use the solver in Excel in order to optimize the medium absolute error, okay, to minimize it. So uh, we can we can change alpha and we will have different uh, values of the mean absolute error. Um, how do we do with solver? We go to data solver. We will delete the cells we have already filled it and we will start, 
start from blank. So the objective is mean absolute error to be minimum, okay? By changing variable cells, by changing alpha, okay? And uh, what constraints we have? Alpha to be between zero and one. So we say cell ref reference alpha minus or equal with one and alpha bigger or equal with zero okay and we use this uh, GRG nonlinear algorithm and we and the uh, solver found a solution alpha to be 100% this means that with this particular series the naive forecast so simply putting putting the latest demand is having the the best forecast okay the minimum median uh, absolute error but you will have other data and solver will find the optimum alpha so this is the main idea with the simple exponential smoothing in the next video we will present the double exponential smoothing that is taking uh, into consideration the trend and the triple exponential smoothing that is taking into consideration both the trend and the seasonality thank you for watching